Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another Redstone video. In this one we're going to be taking a look at the 3 image piston display. Now the idea behind this one really is quite simple, on the right hand side we've got the display unit and then on the left hand side we've got ourselves a handful of buttons. If you hit one of those buttons, the corresponding image will appear up on the screen. Now despite the fact that this seems already quite simple, it was actually a little bit complicated to build and it involved using some really interesting Redstone mechanics that I'm sure all of you are going to quite like. So let's take a closer look. Now I thought I'd get the ball rolling by showing you this thing in action. So as you can see on the screen right now, we've got a message that says, I love creepers. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know if that's correct. I personally don't like creepers. I don't know if you guys at home like creepers, but I think I'm going to be changing that one. So we just head over here and hit this button. You will see that the screen begins to change. Now I'm going to be honest with you, this isn't the fastest acting machine in the world. It does take a little while to do things, but here we go. The message is appearing and it says, hey, which is lovely. It's nice to be greeted in my own redstone videos. Now the important thing about this machine is the fact that you don't have to do everything in order. So for example, if I wanted to go back to the diamond one here, all we have to do is hit the button, it will bypass the iron one, and it will go straight the way around back to the I love creepers message. So as you can see here is the iron one here, which is just a simple checkerboard pattern, but it's going to keep going past that one, and the diamond one is returning. So once again, I love creepers is back on the board, and once again, I'm questioning if it's correct or not. Now the way that I've done this fancy pantsy selecting system is, believe it or not, using cauldrons. I know one of the most useless blocks in Minecraft actually comes in super handy in redstone circuitry because it's the only block movable by pistons that has a variable redstone output. Now that is the super, super important point. This cauldron up here would output a signal strength of 3 because it is full. This one down at the bottom here, as you can see, outputs a signal strength of 2. And then that one over there will output a signal strength of 1 because it's almost empty. It depends on how much water you've got in the cauldron to how much redstone it actually outputs. Now that, coupled with a little red coder circuit over here, means that you can get a single individual output for each one of these different cauldrons, meaning that the machine knows where each one of the cauldrons is located and can select an image depending on that. Now the chances are that sounded like a big mess of English. I do apologize because it's all getting a little bit complicated here and I hate to say it, it's only going to get worse from this point forth because now I'm going to try my best to explain how all of this works. So down at the bottom here, we've got ourselves the red coder circuit. Then up at the top here, we have got ourselves the button selector panel. When you hit one of these buttons, it goes into this RS null latch array, which means you get a specific output for each button that you press, and that then runs into this AND gate. Now these pistons stop moving when these AND gates are satisfied, and they will only stop moving when this output matches up to this output. So the button selector panel matches up with the red coder. So if we hit one of these buttons here, you can see that actually this changes and now this AND gate isn't satisfied, which means that all of our pistons start moving around and they'll start switching about. Then as soon as the correct cauldron comes in, obviously this will now give an output, which will match up with that output up there, meaning the AND gate is satisfied. This piston will then extend, meaning that all of these pistons will stop moving and that should be happening any second now. Yes, so there it is. So there is the piston extending. The redstone clock has now stopped going through into all of the systems and those pistons have stopped pushing the blocks. For those of you who are sitting at your computers with your jaw down at the floor because you have no idea what just happened there, do not worry my friends because there is a world download down in the description. If you do want to check that out, perhaps take a closer look at the redstone behind this thing and try and suss it out for yourselves. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.